Hi, in this video, we will have a look at the Microsoft Dataverse multi-select option set values. So how to read the multi-select option set values? Let's have a look at the Dataverse table. So here I have a table called Sport. And I have added a column called favorite sports and that's the choice column as you can see here and this is a multi select column it is so you can see here it is selecting multiple choices is allowed yeah okay and uh, I got a record so that's my sports entity and I selected uh, you know there are a couple of values here let me select again that Okay, that's a multi-select. So I'm going to select badminton, cricket, and basketball. Here we go. There are three values here. Okay, so let's build the flow and see how to get these values here. So behind the scene, what happens in Dataverse is for the option set values, there is a label. That's the label you are seeing here. That is badminton, cricket, and basketball. That's the label names. And also, there is a value associated with it. Okay, right, so let's build the flow now. So here I'm using a manual trigger and this is the list rows and that entity name is called sports. So next I'm going to add a compose. And uh, select my multi-select field that is favorite sports. Okay, so here you can see there is an apply to each because I'm using a list rows. That means it's more than one record it need to read. So that's the reason flow is going to construct an apply to each here, a loop here. Okay. Okay. Let's test this flow now and see what we are going to get. Okay, flow ran successfully. We got one. I, I have only got one record, and you can see here uh, there are three values here. This is the uh, this is the numeric values behind the scene. Uh, you know those um, labels are associated with it. So how how can we get the label names as well? So what we need to do here is um, go to the output and just uh, go and have a look what the output is for the favorite sports so you can see here that's there are three values are selected you can see those numeric values associated with that how about the label names so here it is the label name see badminton cricket and basketball here so to get that values what we need is we need to take this schema name here that is There it is. Yeah, just copy that. So that's the scheme name we need to copy here. So when we are going to map in uh, in the dynamic values, we won't be able to see the label names here. The numeric values is the only one we can see here. So to, to, to get that, I'm going to add another compose here. And um, see the tool to peer. See uh, items applied to each that. So I'm just going to paste this here now at the minute and then copy this paste that here and um, yeah apply to each and then remove that ajb underscore favorite sports we know that's going to return the numeric values only so to get this we want to get this now here oh i messed it up there um, let me get it in a notepad and copy that over here Okay, so let's replace with this. Okay, so that's the scheme name we want. I want. So you can see here at all data community dot display version one dot formatted value. Then remove this curly bracket and that sign, and also remove this curly bracket. 
okay we are good to go now so let's copy everything again here copy that now place your cursor here click on the expression and put that here so let's uh, you know check the syntax again here so here we are putting items apply to each then the scheme name we, which we found from the list rows okay click okay that Now I'm going to run the flow now again and see what the combos to output is. See, here it is. So this is the way we can get the label names. So if you directly refer the schema name from the uh, dataverse sch schema name, you're only going to get the option set numeric values associated with the, uh, with the database. Okay. So to get the uh, label names, you need to go and inspect the list rows output, find that schema name which we found and that's the format here it is. So, uh, you know, put the loop name, then question mark, then AJB underscore favorite sports at uh, or data dot community dot display dot v1 dot formatted value so this way you can get the text values in next video i'll show you how to update these values in uh, another entity then okay thank you for watching